What is cheating, hacking, and botting? Hello guys, I'm Sammy from HackerBot.net and today I want to answer this exact question and it is a tricky one indeed because this is a very two-faced subject to talk about. Officially, everybody hates cheaters. Inofficially, a lot of people are looking for cheats because they want to be better at games than other people are and then the next day they go back to, you know, hating cheaters and so on and so on and so on. So it's very two-faced in that way. But let's have a look at the matter itself. What is a cheat? Sir Innocento plays legit asks. Well, it really depends whether you are playing a multiplayer or single player game. In a single player game, you are basically allowed to change any value in the game since the game is 100% processed on your computer, alright? That means you're not required to be online, no part of the game at all is processed on a online server, it's all on your computer, you're allowed to change everything, your money, your health, your level, your unlocks, everything, you are able to edit your save games and so on. You're basically Chuck Norris, just, you know, more awesome, so that's what a single player cheat is. You're allowed to do anything. This is very much in contrast to the multiplayer cheat and this is where the video gets very important because in multiplayer we are a lot more limited, okay? The cheating options on the multiplayer game are a lot more limited because a part of the game is processed on the game server, alright? Part of the game is processed on your computer and a part of the game is processed on the server, okay? And what is also important to note here is that the very important values such as your health, money, levels, your unlocks, your items and so on, the very important values, your currency and all, is stored on the server and you are unable to change that, alright? This is very important, I get hundreds of messages every week asking me a, this exact thing and that's why I'm doing this video. This is not possible. You cannot change your currency for example in an MMO or an online game or online shooter. It's not possible. You can't change your health, you can't change your mana, you can't change your items. It's impossible. Botting is very much more effective here. Botting being the process of a bot or a program actually playing for you in order to farm gold or money or whatever or levels experience and so on because there's no way to actually hack that that's important to know so let's recap there are few things that are processed on the server including health money skills stats items levels experience etc just all the very important levels just think about it that way if a value would be changeable and it would totally ruin the game, then it is most likely processed on the server. For example, let's say in WoW or another popular MMO, gold was changeable. What would happen? Everybody would have unlimited gold ASAP because everybody would tr cheat if that were possible and the game would stop being fun, would stop being a challenge and the game would die. All right? Think about it that way. If, if the game would die if it was possible, then it's certainly processed on the server. On the client you can change th things like your position, your clipping, your speed, your map, vision, um, the enemy positions can be found, item locations can be found, and you know smaller cheats like that. This is mostly for MMOs and MMORPGs, but it's also true for most shooters. Alright, moving on. So, I'm making this video because I get a lot of exactly these messages. Mister, give me now. Give me one billion gold hack now. Also, hack me good item. Alright? I, I honestly get these messages. They're not only entitled, but they're also very uneducated. Alright? These hacks are not only impossible, and also, if they were possible, this would probably be the wrong way to address me on Facebook, so please people stop doing this because it just it makes me go a little bit angry every time it happens. So this should give me now, please leave me alone. You have now been educated and you should now know what hacks are, what they include and what they don't include. 
most importantly. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I hope to see you guys quite soon on HackerBot.net. And God bless you.